do this? Turn it on. It's on. Okay. It's and then it's just start and stop. Okay. First thing we're going to do is set up the tripod. You want to make sure the tripod is as level as possible before you put the instrument on it because when you're leveling the instrument, you don't have a lot of play in the instrument adjustments. So you want to be as level as possible to begin with. And you want the tripod to be about chest high. That way you don't have to bend over a lot when you're reading the instrument. If you set it up lower or higher, it makes it very difficult. When you set it up, make sure that you get the feet firmly into the ground so that it doesn't move once you get the instrument set up. as does the tripod, so you line those up. That will give you the most stable setup. There's a screw mechanism on the bottom that screws in. Try and center the instrument on the tripod. Then you can check level with the bubble. This is why you have to make sure that you actually get close to begin with. There's not a lot of adjustment that can be done with these little knobs. The goal is to get that bubble right in the middle. If you start with an almost level tripod, it's much easier. Once the bubble is in the middle, there is a bubble level on the instrument itself. That also needs to be leveled. The best way to level it is to line up with one side of the tripod and use only one side to level it. Then rotate through all three sides. That way you only adjust each one once. very fine adjustment so it has to be done slowly and the bubble takes time to move so you have to wait for it. Once you've done all three, just double check. Sometimes it takes a couple times around to get it exact.
once the instrument is level, don't touch the tripod, don't jar the instrument, it'll come out of level. If you walk away and come back to take measurements, you'll want to check that fine tuning, because sometimes just the vibration and movement around it may, uh, may jar it a bit. So, now I'm going to show you a little bit about the instrument before we start using it. There are two major controls to worry about. This one is the horizontal, and the inside knob, the one closest to the instrument, actually, when it's turned clockwise, locks the base. So now this cannot turn horizontally. The fine tuning, so when you're looking through it and you want to fine tune to get right in line, is the outer knob. Lock it first, get close, lock it, then use the fine tuning. The same is true for vertical. The inside knob closest to the instrument locks and unlocks, clockwise locks. The outside is a fine tune. So once you have your instrument set up and you know how to fine tune it, we can then start to take readings.